What's up guys, Jazz Jackson here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do a no-brainer blunt cut bob. This is perfect for the summertime. This is going to be one of the quickest hairstyles that you could possibly do for yourself, especially if you're trying to give your weave a pick-me-up. Now, this hair here that I am rocking is from a company called Love & Hair, which you can find on AliExpress. And unfortunately, I wasn't really loving it. So I needed to figure out a way to wear the hair um, you know just something that would look a little bit more snazzy so I decided to do a blunt cut with anything you're gonna start off by combing out the hair first I'm starting from the bottom working my way up if you start the opposite way you're going to get tangles so make sure that you start from the bottom and work your way up I'm taking two uh, sides so this is how you do it quickly and I'm going to measure it exactly where I want my blunt cut to end and it's like right above, like right starting at my, like right at my boobs. <laughs> so I'm taking a comb and I'm just going to line it and then I'm just literally cutting right across. Now when you first, the first time that you cut, it's not going to be even at all. And also I, what I would recommend for you guys to do is to not pull the hair so tight or taut because you are going to give yourself, um, it's going to pull too much and you're not going to be able to see how much hair you're actually pulling. So once you do that one cut on the first side, you're just going to mimic it on the other side as well. Again, if you're like me, uh, you're not going to get an even cut the first time around. You just want to make sure that your, your shears are leveled and you're doing one seamless cut across. You can always go back and fix it. As you guys can see, for me, one side is significantly longer than the other one. See what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place like press this against my like my breast and I'm going to cut again it's super simple what I also recommend for you guys to do is to cut underneath your hand not above do not cut above And we're pretty even. It could stand to be cut just a tad bit more, but I didn't want to cut too, too much. So, oh, no, I did. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I did cut it. Um, I guess I was able to see that. But as you guys can see, once I cut it, then I got a good uh, even cut on each side. And then all we're going to do is flat iron this bad boy right on up. All right, so the hair has like a natural body wave. It's very healthy hair, but I'm just not a fan of the wave. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, flat iron this hair and just wear it as a simple, straight, blunt cut. So I'm using Cantu um, hairspray or oil sheen, and I am also using a little bit of hairspray, holding spray, whatever works for you is perfectly fine. But you don't want to saturate the hair. Just a little bit will do you um, for the oil sheen as well as the hairspray. So just like you do with any flat ironing process, you're going to uh, part and then just work your way all the way up to the crown of the head. So I am taking a duckbill clip and I'm just securing the excess hair out of the way and then I'm going to use my flat iron and just, you know, pull it down my hair <laughs> um, uh, if you guys want to know the heat on this flat iron is at 430 degrees it could have it could have went all the way up but I just um, wanted to use it at 430 so that it wouldn't be too hot um, once I started flat ironing the hair you can honestly see how nice the hair is and I feel like um, the hair is probably better in its in like a straight form. I believe it is it is my opinion that this hair is probably uh, steam processed, and I feel like that kind of takes away from the beauty of the hair. Because once the hair is flat ironed, it looks absolutely beautiful. It is really bouncy, easy to easy to maintain, um, and so I think you get to see that very well once the hair is straightened. Alright guys, so if you have ever flat ironed your hair or watched someone flat iron their hair on YouTube, you guys know that it is mad redundant. So I am going to speed up this process, throw in a little bit of music, and you go ahead and you enjoy, okay? We're going to pick up again um, at the top of the crown so I can show you how to do proper blending.
Alright guys, and we're back. And as you can see, the hair straightens very, very nicely. So now I am working at the crown of the head, which I take very seriously because this is what's going to separate the boys from the men, okay? So what you want to do is, um, there are a couple of trouble areas for me with this unit. Um, working with the closure, as you guys can see, there is quite a bit of like frayage. There's um, like sparse hairs throughout. And also the, the closure doesn't lay as flat as I would like for it to. So I'm just running my flat iron all the way through. Again, it's at 430 degrees. Really just like one stroke will do you it's pretty fine um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the very top part as well the same way I'm just going to uh, comb it through to get rid of any tangles and then I'm going to run my flat iron through the the hair also as you guys can see I kind of let the iron lay right at the top right there this is going to like lay down the area and make sure that it lays really flat but don't put it there too long guys because you will burn yourself like trust me if you ever watched any of my hair tutorials, I burn myself every single time. So don't do what I do and, and burn yourself. All right, so as you guys can see, it's laying flat, but then I have those frays right there, and it just does not look good. So how I handle that is I just take a little bit of, of holding spray, nothing too hard, just a little bit will do you, and I spray down that area, and then I follow that with my trusty mousse. And mousse has like alcohol in it, it's a little bit tacky, so it's going to be like a glue, so to speak, for um for those frays to lay down then once i do that you can you can have the option of running your comb through it depending on how small your tooth is on the comb or you can take a paddle brush and brush through it as well um, if you want to make sure that everything is laying down very nicely but then i also um, like to take my flat iron as well and just run it across the area again just to make sure that it lays down very nicely just like that Again, guys, bobs is like one of my favorite hairstyles to do. I don't care. You can do this with your natural hair. You can do this with a wig. As you guys know, I wear wigs. This is a wig that I made. Uh, just a quick weave wig. And yeah, it's good to go. And I like to wear um, bobs. If I kind of feel like the hair isn't the best quality, you'll get more bang for your buck if the hair is shorter and you're wearing it in a bob because you're not doing too much to the hair. All right, guys, and as you can see, one side is done. I mean, come on, like sleek goddess on fleek. You guys can see side A and side B. We don't go with side A. All right, so, you know, here it is. Once you do the other side, they're twinsies, all right? This is the final look. Um, again, guys, this hair is from a hair company called Lovin' Hair Company on AliExpress. I'll be sure to put all of the information for you down below in the description bar so that you can check them out for yourself. There will be one more video with this um, with this series of videos for Lovin' Hair. It's just going to be my final thoughts on the hair. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.